little guy's name's Fen playing some hexen, but something is different and amiss. What could it possibly be? Turn this music down here. This is called Wolfen. It is a mod for hexen. It's got a bunch of new levels, and it. Oh, and, and I've got insufficient Aeon, because I've got insufficient Aeon. It's pretty amazing. I fondly remember this one from my uh, days of modding GZ Doom and being very silly on the Z Doom forum. But, wait, no, that just made me. This, this is a pretty good soundtrack, but the, uh, the, the levels, the dynamics are just all the heck over the place. It's too quiet, it's too loud, blah, 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 blah. I don't freaking know, but, uh, we'll figure that out later, won't we? Yeah. Let's play some Hexen. Uh, for some reason, nobody else seems to have played this on YouTube that I can see. It's pretty freaking weird. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I was gonna do a whole replay of Hexen 1. Like, her guys remember that time when I used to play Hexen and sound like this? Hey guys, name's Fun. Um, uh, uh, playing some Hexen. Yeah, I remember that time, but I guess, uh, I guess I'm like, oh, I want to play this because nobody, nobody has ever seen anything like that crazy, amazing sky. Look at that sky. It's got black spots in it, so you know the apocalypse is coming. Oh, yeah, these leaves are blowing because it just looks super amazing because Hexen is a great game. And this is a great fan wad mission thing. It's a wad because that's how you, that's how you say and that thing's just going up infinitely into the sky. And I just missed this guy shattering down like a shatter. Let's let's see that again. Okay, are you ready? Oh man. Eh, well, I guess you're not meant to be exactly looking in that direction. Of course, there's some new graphics in this mod. This is one of the least slightly odd looking ones. There's some more ones that are also slightly odd looking. And <laughs> let me tell you that. Uh, uh, but we'll get to those when we come to them. Uh, as you can see, this is the golden post, so you get to do that. <laughs> it's just like so freaking fun. You get to like move things down. This hexen engine, doom engine, hexenified thing that hexen programmers did. Hexen, hexen, hexen. Sure is amazing and super fun. And it just like never gets old. And also, killing these swamp monsters never gets old. It's just like, they're swamp monsters, and you beat their heads in, and their heads disappear. And there's some Aeon mana, but I still have insufficient Aeon if I were to click the Aeon button. <gasps> I mean, it's Eon. I don't know, man. Perhaps it's Ion. But that sounds like the Super Metroid Prime Hoppity Dop enemy. So, we don't have those all up in our face here. Oh yeah, I remember the freaking problem with this section of the... <laughs> By problem, I mean, you gotta go all the way around. Um... Yeah, this is kind of an old, I think this is 2004 this was originally released. This is an updated version that works with GT Doom and blah blah blah, technicals nobody cares. But, if you go back up into here, oh man, check out that wolf howling. There's this kind of dickish uh, ledge here that you actually need to see to progress. And you might think, wow, in this engine you sure run fast. Well, this isn't running, it's walking. This is running. Whoa! Oh, oh. And then it's got these little bridge uh, icons. Fortunately, they do not say, gross hack on them. <laughs> be funny, but you kind of got to go up and around. I just really love, I mean, I love the Hexen aesthetic in the first place, and uh, Lil White Mouse here, the author, also known as LWM, also known as Mouse, I guess, did a really killer job with stuff. Apparently, she's pretty well known to do killer stuff. I mean, I've been out of the Doom-type loop for a very large number of years now, but I remember her from back in the day when I was being really silly and ridiculous on the forums. But let's not, uh, oh, wait a minute. Something went wrong here. Only part of these spawny things spawners spawned. And, oh, heck on here. Let's try that again. Sometimes it kind of does that. No, it didn't work again. That's totally strange. Yeah, I know this works in this copy of Doom because I played this a little before, but I mean, it doesn't really matter that much because you can jump between, but it's like kind of a thing. DOI LOVE HILE BREAST! Okay, I think there's something blocking those things from spawning, but I don't know what it is. That's... Kind of doesn't bode well. Maybe it's a difficulty setting that got missed. Oh, man, I, I don't know. I, I didn't even need to do that. What am I thinking? Die, you friendly beast from heaven! Okay, okay, back out here. Hope you all aren't too confused by my crazy cut style, which I haven't changed from ever. Oh my god. This is like really annoying. It's not supposed to be like that. Okay. Seriously. 
You're supposed to walk over those blue sparkly things that are meant to appear between these things, just so you know. Fortunately, these ones appeared, so, uh... Oh, now they... What? Oh, maybe it's the higher difficulty you have to make the jumps. <laughs> Never mind. By the way, let's look at the hub names. This one's called the Wolfen Sanctuary, and now we're going to... The, orig origin the original equipment bog! And it's got this crazy techno music that some people wish to complain about, but I'm nostalgic about it, so I'm like, oh yeah, the OES bog. Oh, I just love this music. And also, you can get up here and see how the portals are done. It's quite the embarrassment, really. But we don't talk about that. Now, whoa. Jesus. 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 Okay, I'm, I'm on a higher skill level than I normally play. I normally play on wimpy skill level because I like to explore and see the world. But the, <laughs> it's just not going to happen with air travel in today's Mickey Mouse world. Mickey Mouse just flies through the air like, Whoa, I have a silly, annoying voice. Whoa. And you just like, I mean, how can you like a character like that? It just doesn't make any sense. So I'm going to run into this house and... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Shit, shit, shit. No, 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 no. Go away. Yeah, geez. Okay, this is not going to be amenable to my normal methods of just running around and being stupid in Hexen. I'm going to have to actually try... Whoa, there's actually bats and stuff. But, you know, the Doom Engine skill levels are weird. It's like every two skill levels are the same except one of them, like halves the amount of health you get or something weird like that and, and then the next one up after that actually makes it harder but maybe not with Hexen I'm really not sure but I've now got the demon codex so all is going to be perfectly fine for me for the rest of my life until some green slime starts shooting at me again so I mean like yeah you gotta you gotta walk around in the swamp and then there's some crazy hammer guy up there now that's an example of some new graphics I think it's done in like a 3d rendering program and, and the shadows and light just make it look kind of flat and they, they do look a bit jank but I mean <laughs> I don't know nostalgia again and uh, there is in fact some place here there is in fact some place here hey it's alien man out there what the heck <clears throat> I would get up there. Oh, I guess I'll get to it later. But the place I'm looking for is not this, despite it looking like a secret door. It's too secretive for me. But whoa, 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 whoa. He's skipping right over the green guys and going straight to the brown ones. You are strangely fog colored there because Jeez Doom Fog is slightly weird. And, and you can. Whoa, whoa, jeez. The fish, the fish. You can see how this thing is like slightly above a thing. And that's how you know you can go underneath a thing. Now, I can't remember if there's like air. You don't have an air meter in Doom, that's for sure. But I don't remember if you actually have limited air. I think you might. Because I kind of seem to remember something about that from my old days of being ludicrous on the forums. But anyways, you, you didn't have swimmable water in the original Hex, and this is made for Z-Doom and, and blah, 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 blah. So, uh, no matter. I think I missed something. No, I didn't miss nothing. Oh, yeah. Is that perfectly on? Still insufficient, though. I don't know what would be sufficient. Well, like, I kind of do, but I'll never tell. And, and I just I hate missing things, but that's okay. Because, oh, it's awesome. It's cave key door and this, like, art style aesthetic. I mean, the Raven were such geniuses. So unlike their later days of making. Oh, wow. What am I doing? Why would I do. So unlike their later days of Quake 4. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yeah. Back, back, back in the Hexen days and like possibly no other days because Heretic was cool, but it was not that different from Doom. It was like Doom with a different skin and some extremely minor features that you barely notice. I don't know, that's the way I remember it. I mean, but like, I don't know. Hexen, 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 uh, uh, Hexen. <laughs> anyway, I guess I... Yeah, I'm really gonna have to. I'm really gonna have to be careful here, and being careful is not at all my strong suit in any way. So yeah. Oh, and that's how I get this thing. Don't you just love these crittery wall worms all over the place? And uh, aligning textures in uh, modern Doom editors is actually quite trivial, unlike Dromed, apparently. But uh, but then you have to be careful about stuff and other stuff. And like I don't know. Hey, I like to fight guys behind bars. It's like cheap and cheesy and did I actually get like anything of worth up in here or should I wait did I get a key? I can't see I've got some strange icon in the corner it's freaking tiny what is that even no no idea I don't I don't have a key so onward which I mean backward did I okay oh my god where am I even frigging going like okay 
But, 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 I hit this switch here. Did it not cause me to become a god and all the world to bow before me? Uh, also, I should mention these bridges. You might be wondering, why are these bridges all weird looking with lines? It's because you can't have floors over floors at the time this thing was created. So you have to have these lines. I don't know, it's a technical thing, but it ends up looking pretty cool. So yeah, oh wait. Die tree from purgatory and thou. Oh, thank you. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it's just going under there. Man, I... Oh. I'm trying to remember, I just played this the other day! There's probably other difficulty related differences and all kinds of crap, I mean, oh my god, woe is me! In my quest to impress, I have... Stupided. Wait, stairs have risen, oh yeah, now I remember. Now I remember and I've got no more health because I really, really am not used to not being a wimp. You know, one guy in my last playthrough was like... He completely ignored the issue of me being a terrible Let's Player at that time and focused instead on the much more important issue of me playing on easiest difficulty and was like, Oh, I'm playing on easiest. One guy ever. Of course, only like two guys ever watched that uh, series, but uh, hey, we don't talk about that. But that just kind of brings you back here. So, so yeah, it's a shortcut. So instead, I'm going to go get spiked and speared and see what happens when you. Whoa, shit! Okay, you get the bomb, guys, blowing up, spear, bomb, okay, well, okay, that killed him, yeah, I've just ex exhausted my entire weaponry, so let's get speared. Amazing! Okay, let's do it properly. And for some reason, there's supposed to be like a sound that plays. I thought this guy was sliming about on the ground, but he's sliming about in the swamp. Disgusting. Of course, the thing about hexing is that enemies can spawn if they feel like it. They're allowed by law, and and boy, howdy, do they take advantage of that color television. They, they go like, here's a cowboy, he's on TV. I'm allowed by law to do such a thing. And there's a hangman, and he, he does look kind of flat, too. Also, I've got some texture filters that maybe I shouldn't have on here because it makes things look a bit weird. But, man, that's a matter of opinion, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hexen is well known for having opinions and ruined buildings everywhere. Also, this mod being a mod and trying to be difficult for people that know Hexen and stuff is uh, not just handing out Timon's axe like freaking immediately as the original Hexen does. So, <laughs> you got this, you got this freaking thing and and then you got this boss music for no reason and then it's, it's just like fighting a boss, and at this point, I'm just kind of like, uh, pointing out stuff that happened. Oh man, health, jeez. Oh shit. I'm... Oh, I'm rewing up everybody's fa- oh man. Face with some kicks and some like... You know what? I, I think I might actually be better avoiding these things. Brainwave! That's a nice log, it turns to face you, because that's how these old engines were, but you know what? They, they look really good, they have an art style to them, everything's deliberate, and that's the thing that can end up looking pretty good. When just about nothing other than enemy movement is simulated, and even then it's kind of simple, you have art like this, that's art. Art! Okay, so now I get to fight a boss, I, I guess. I don't know. I shouldn't back myself into a corner, that's a really bad idea, and I don't know why I did that before. But I am Finn, and I am known for having ideas that could be conducive to me being quote-unquote amusing, by which I mean, like, talking a lot. Senseless babble is my trademark. Oh, this music is cool. I don't know, I love the music, I love everything about this, because just like I played it back in the day, and it was cool. And Please, uh, appear at some point. I'm just gonna keep punching from the edge of the screen because there's nothing you can really do if you want to play in widescreen. Oh, these old non-future predicting developers. What were they even thinking? Seriously. Seriously, dude, please. Please. Oh, you weren't, you weren't the right one. Okay, uh... Whoa, whoa. Okay, okay, calm down. Calm, 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 calm yourself, Yago. You're not a parrot and you shouldn't be parroting out there. Oh, shit. Yeah, this is like really, 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 really bad for me. I'm doing extremely poorly and I'm not even that far through yet. That's a steel key and I could fight these guys through the bars if I wished. It would make it trivial and I think given my current state, uh, it might not be such a, a bad idea. So let's save right in the heat of combat. Hey, you guys! Let's come over here and start a punk band. No. Okay, they're, they're making actual gameplay happen. So now I got this tiny key you can barely see in the corner and I think is like... 
I didn't even read what it was supposed to be. It might be a cave key or a castle key or like a steel. It's a steel key, I think, actually. There's so many keys in Hexen, it's amazing. Okay, so that was the original equipment supplier bog and oh, health. And it is worth falling down for, falling flat on your rear end for it. So that was, uh, that was that part of game that I played. I hope you liked it. And now I'm going to shove a key into somewhere else and we'll see something possibly amazing. I mean, who knows what the heck we're going to see. Oh, man. More Ettons. Two heads. Beeble Brocks is all of them. And they're kind of just like crowding around me and I'm just knocking them out in a piss easy manner because they're not very smart. They have two brains, but their brains are like Law of cubed style smaller. I don't really know what I'm talking about. I think what I mean is that they're like quadratically smaller. Maybe that's not what I mean at all, but hey, never anybody mind. It's strange that you don't have a compass in this game. Well, it's not strange, but I mean, I'm used to do. Oh, thank. What? Oh, shoot. I was trying to use that. Yeah. I mean, they expect you to fight all these guys with your first weapon, and of course, the fighter gets a crappy, weak first weapon, and I always play the fighter because. I just like the fighter because I've always played it. I have a guy who kind of likes his comfort food or comfort something or other. Anyway, I don't know. But uh, as you can see, comfort does not necessarily let you live figuratively or metaphorically. You see, this whole thing is just a lesson. And uh, I think my mouse might be like whipping around too much. I think this chest is actually from Thief? Or something, but this is like a really clever chest. If you don't know the engine, you might be like, oh, it's just a chest. But uh, you can't move stuff like a lid turny at the time this game is released, so instead it's just like instantly lowering that floor and then like raising this back real quick so it looks like the lid is open. I, don't know. I think it's really cool. And I used to be like a, just like a total weird Doom Engine hacker guy on the forums, but that's just maybe. I don't know. Stop with the joke. Still insufficient, but it did cause a wolf to uh, to bray and bay in the bay there. It watches the bay and yells at it because it disapproves of the debauchery going on. Never you mind. These freaking guys. Where are they even? Oh, they're here. Amazing. I think I'll even one leave, leave one alive to tell the tale. And it's a tale that begs to be told. You can take that tail, stick it on your behind, and say, Hey, I've earned my tail. And this tail is going to whip you into submission until you too earn yours. And your tail will be that you got whipped into submission by a stupid appendage stuck on some guy's back as he was pretending to be a beast who has a tail, but really he doesn't. Also, I think I'm, uh, oh yeah. There's a, there's a, a gun over there, but you can't zoom in either because there's ain't no thief. It's a blunderbuss, and you gotta like do that, and you can test it out, and and you can go like, bam, and it's like a, a shotgun. It's literally the shotgun, I suppose, but I'm not gonna waste it on that guy. Okay, not wasted on that guy, ahoy! But it's good that I at least get some other weapon now, because otherwise, we'd be in some uh, trouble having times. So. Nothing behind. Sometimes there's stuff behind. So we're leaving the Wolfen Sanctuary and into the Ruined Town. Which has an amazing, sad music to it. I just love the atmosphere. <laughs> I mean, damn. But I guess I probably babble on enough about that in my old LP. I was like, you know, I love the atmosphere. Just the leaves oh, from the trees. Ah, oh, it's good, you know. I just love And stuff, so I'm not going to do it anymore. Uh, I'm trying to make my mic sound bad, but it just does not sound as bad as my old mic, so the joke is a little bit lost getting, but uh, never you mind. I wonder what sort of madness I'm going to encounter here. Still no mana. That's not really a joke, but I keep doing it as if it was any kind of funny, so uh, hey, watch my view counts go down right when I say uh, insufficient mana. I can't show you that as a joke, though, because this video is not up yet, so I cannot go editing in some hilarious farcical audience retention number because it doesn't exist. Oh my, no, I'm, I'm sorry, but that's just kind of the way it is. Yeah, well, I'll fight you from up here. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. You all cardboard paper Mario freaking enemies. You're not gonna get past this stompity jump audience applause place. I know you're allergic to audience applause and there's none here, but I hope a fist to the face 
Well, we, I know, I shouldn't just keep hitting their shields. You're supposed to wait for them to not have their shields up. I know, I know, I know, I know, I freaking know. But don't you be getting on my case, buddy. Where am I even going here? Oh, I know, I'm, I'm going completely away from whoever the hell is shooting that scary sounding sound. Uh, there's a meat cleaver, and... I didn't find what I expected to find there because this is a different difficulty. That's interesting. Well, there'll be some new stuff then. I'll be confused. And there's that moo sound, which if I wasn't babbling so much, you would have heard properly. Isn't this great? Isn't this great? Oh, man. It really gives a feeling of there being floor over floor, even though there isn't really, except for one place where transfer heights is used. Transfer heights is a thing. But I'm not going to mention the forum again because I think I might have exhausted my silly posts by now, if not even before now, so I will just pretend that never happened. There's a hex and gears, strangely blurry. And you can kind of move this hand around, but you can't move the other hand around, so it's like, what's going on? It seems like some sort of puzzle, but that sounds like work. So instead, I'm just gonna better down some trees because I'm this bloodlusting warrior with like ridiculous muscles because, oh boy, it's a good thing that uh, there's no female characters in this game. Otherwise, I'll probably be like, I'm gonna bust these female characters by bulging my muscles. And they'll just be like, I'm very impressed and now I'm going to save the world. Poof! I've saved the world. I don't know what I'm even saying here, but you know, magic goes poof. When the hands reach for heaven and each bell sounds, the locks will unfasten. And unleash the hounds. And there's your description of of that puzzle over there, and the hands reach for heaven. But you know that puzzle is going to be more trickficult than it at first appears. So I want to see this guy try to use his hammer. Yeah, that's how he looks when he's trying to use his hammer. It really has no depth to it, and it doesn't fit with the other graphics. I know, but god damn it, I really like this, and so do a lot of other people, apparently. I used to think this door was, like, strangely placed into the wall, but now I realize it's probably supposed to be opened inwards and, you know, because everything's all busted up. Hey, I'm at full health. That never happens. I might as well shut this guy up, guy or guys. Because, I mean, he's just kind of, like, disturbing the peace. Okay, guys. Man, and that spirally thing. Sure, and also... Seriously, I've got my fist, and here's the transfer heights so you can tell because the ceiling is different and when you go up here It's like the floor. It's a very specific effect You had to do back in the day because hacking this engine and to do what you want is like the funnest thing ever But it made me stay up all night and get no sleep So I stopped but like nowadays I just do that anyway, but I'm stopping because it's really horrible and awful and horrible so so yeah I am at least admitting that. I don't know if I'm actually stopping or whatever. There's a key in there. I guess it's like the serpent key. I wasn't aware there was such a thing. Snakes don't have need for keys. Only strange inanimate elementals have need for keys like steel and fire and cave and castle and other such things. And here's the thieves highway. I know. Oh, there's the, there's the castle key. Well, that was in a different place. That was by the meat cleaver on that other friggin' difficulty, but oh, never you mind that. Well, now that I've got the castle key, I think that I shall go up to the castle and heartily admire it. Wishing upon wish, hoping upon hope that I can go into it at some point. So before anybody else spawns, see you guys next time and bye for now!